If you're thinking about relocating to Baton Rouge or one of the surrounding areas around Baton Rouge, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. I will show you Baton Rouge and the surrounding areas. We'll talk about the pros and cons of each area and you're gonna to wanna to watch this video to the end to find out the number one suburb of Baton Rouge. Let's get to it. My name is Sharon Delalio, and I am your local neighborhood real estate expert. I help buyers, sellers, and investors from all over the U.S. when they're making a move to Louisiana. I am born and raised here in Louisiana, and I would love to help you if you're making the move to Louisiana. And if you'll take a moment, help me out, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, so you'll be notified each week when I put out new videos on living in Louisiana. I am super excited to share with you guys today a map video of Baton Rouge and some of the surrounding areas of some of my clients' favorite places to live when they're making a move into the area, and I'm going to highlight the pros and cons of some of those areas. Baton Rouge is the second largest city in Louisiana. It is the capital of Louisiana. It's known for our petrochemical industry and Louisiana State University. Go Tigers! So let's get to the video. I am going to show you, if we look at the map right here, this is going to be Baton Rouge right here and all the surrounded areas. First, uh, you can see the Mississippi River and it goes all the way through Baton Rouge. So that is going to be separating East Baton Rouge Parish from West Baton Rouge Parish. That's right, parish. In Louisiana, we are the only state in the country that has parishes, which is just like your county. So if you hear me saying the word parish, you can just think about counties where you live. So let's get to it. So one of the areas I'm going to show you first, okay, is going to be West Baton Rouge. So this is a bridge right here. That's going to take you over the Mississippi River all the way into like the Port Allen area, Bruley. So all this area is um, in the West Baton Rouge. This area, I feel like there are a lot of families that live there, families that have lived there forever. They grew up, they wanna be close to the families. They want more acreage maybe. They like the school system there. And the pricing in West Baton Rouge is really good. I recently just sold a house to a client. She got a four bedroom house for under four bedrooms. About, I think the house was like 11 years old. She got it for under $250,000. So that was a really good deal that I snagged for her. And the average sales price in West Baton Rouge is about $228,000. And new construction, you can literally get new construction uh, for under $240,000. Uh, well, around 240 uh, and not under, but up, 240 and up for new construction in West Baton Rouge. The con to live in, in West Baton Rouge is this bridge right here. This bridge backs up so much. So if you're not over this bridge by 3 p.m., you're gonna be sitting on the bridge because traffic comes in from Texas on the 18 wheelers, Lafayette, Lake Charles, and it just sits right here because they're either going to go north and I-110 or 10 all the way down to like the New Orleans area. So right in here is just a really congested area. So that's gonna be our West Baton Rouge tour. All right, so we are coming back from West Baton Rouge, across the bridge, and this is gonna be our downtown area right in this area, right through here, be our downtown area. This area is popular with people that live, want to live and work in the same area. You're gonna have a lot of law firms downtown, bars, restaurants, uh, just big commercial industries downtown. So someone that wants to live and work in that area or just wants to have the convenience of the bars, restaurants, and be able to walk or ride their bike there. It's popular for um, people that are interested in that. I recently just sold a house in what we call Borgard Town. It's one of the oldest towns in Baton Rouge, and it was super cute. It was over in this area right here, and it used to be a law firm, but my first-time homebuyers wanted to renovate it just a little bit, didn't need a lot, uh, into a 
single family home. So they were able to do that because it was a mixed use uh, area. So they were able to do that. So it turned out really nice for them and they can walk to the restaurants and to the bars and to the parade. So parades here in Baton Rouge is a big deal. And being on a parade route is prime. They love it. So also you're going to have, if you come a little further east, you're going to have the Garden District. That's pretty popular as well. Capitol Heights area is really popular. A lot of people go to um, their kids go to private schools, Catholic High, St. Joseph's. So those areas are really popular so they can be close to the schools there. So we are going to go down south now and we're going to... I-10, actually just the Highland area. You can see uh, you are close to Tiger Stadium heading south a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see better. We're gonna head south just a little bit. These areas have been popular with my clients. There's so many other areas and so many other neighborhoods in Baton Rouge. You can watch some of my videos as I highlight some of those. Uh, so we're gonna head to the South Downs area. So we were downtown Baton Rouge. So we're just gonna come down and head down to the South Downs area right through here. That's a really popular area. You're gonna have your older homes there with the other very quaint, very expensive. They go for about $265 a square foot with an average or median sales price of about $599,000 in that area. They're going to be older. A lot of them have been renovated and they're really nice and really cute. You're going to have your mature trees there. So it's a really great area and it's located to a lot of different things. As you can see right here, it's popular because a lot of people like to go walk and run the LSU lakes right here. You're close to uh, Tiger Stadium as well, walk on. So they have a lot of restaurants. You're also located next to like the ZZ's land where they have like some restaurants and shops as well uh, that you can ride your bike to or just take a little walk to. So that area has been very popular as well. All right, we're gonna head to South Baton Rouge. It is extremely popular due to its location and convenience to everything. Uh, you have some high-end shopping, Perkins Row, a lot of like little boutiques here, town center, the Mall of Louisiana, Blue Bayou Water Park. There's so much to do in South Baton Rouge. It is popular just because of the location and it has so many communities in such a small area. So it's a lot to choose from. You can choose from a newer mixed use community to an older home with like a little bit larger lot to a brand new construction home. So I'm gonna highlight a few of them. I can't possibly get to them all, but you can watch some other videos where I've highlighted just the community itself. Now, the kind to South Baton Rouge is for my clients say it's the schools and you I'm not advocating pro or con school but you can look on niche.com and see the public school rankings it is popular though for with my clients for the magnet schools which are really good and there are a ton of private schools in the areas as well so if we look if we're coming from like we were just at the south just a little bit of downtown but if we're on I-10 and we're coming, you're gonna see Interstate 10 is gonna split. It's gonna go this way, then you're gonna have, it's gonna go south, then you're gonna have Interstate 12, which is gonna go east, and we'll hit that one in just a few minutes. So let's go south on Interstate 10 all the way down. And so all of this area through here, and even the Kenilworth is a great area all through here, um, all the way here. It's all gonna be the South Baton Rouge area, and I may have missed just a little by a stroke or two. But uh, so those, that's, you can just kind of see uh, the area right there. Now the average sales price in the uh, Baton Rouge is about 315,000 on average right now, according to realtor.com. So if we look, like the Blue Bonnet area right here is really popular, a lot of homes through here. I'm gonna just highlight a few, and up here you're gonna have uh, Ruzan, which is a really nice uh, mixed-use community. They're gonna have a grocery store up front, some little restaurants there, resort-style pool. You can 
is still have tons of lots you can choose from. So they have a lot of amenities in that area, and that's close to the College Drive Perkins area. But if you come on down to the Perkins area, you're gonna have the settlement at Willow Grove, which is a kind of a mixed use community. They do have a pool, they do have shopping, restaurants there as well. So they have a lot of older neighborhoods in the area, like the Oak Hills place. That's been kind of popular with my clients right here that can't quite afford that price range. So they go into the Oak Hills area. There is some new construction anywhere from 270 to 400 in a certain little location too, like the DSLD, DR Horton Homes, Alvarez. So there is some new construction in great areas as well that you can get into that's very affordable. And if you want really high end, we're gonna have the Country Club of Louisiana. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit and go down Interstate 10. We're just gonna zoom in here. So we're gonna have the Country Club of Louisiana like right over in this area right here. Also, University Club is another golf club community. It does have a gatehouse, but um, it's not guard gated where you have to show ID to get in like the Country Club of Louisiana. And that has like golf, tennis, uh, everything. And then the Country Club, I mean, I'm sorry, University Club has golf, tennis as well, and some really nice pools. So they're both great places, just different locations. Country Club of Louisiana is gonna be closer to the interstate closer to the airport New Orleans. It's about a 50 minute drive to New Orleans from that location. And Universally Club is not, as you can see right here, let me get the little, it's right here. It's closer to the Mississippi River, LSU. But you have to go all the way here to get to the interstate. So it is a little bit further out, but it's still a wonderful community as well. So you're also gonna have in South Baton Rouge, like the lakes of Harveston. It just has so many neighborhoods. I just can't possibly get to them all, but you can watch my videos, some of the other ones, and it'll highlight them as well. Uh, it's also like uh, Wood Ridge is a great subdivision. It's an older subdivision with larger lots, and that's gonna be off of the Airline PQ area. We're gonna head into the east side of Baton Rouge now. And this was that 10-12 split right here that I was telling you guys about in the other video. And you can just take the 12, which is going east, east Baton Rouge down, and come into this area right in here, all through here. And that's gonna be your east side of the Baton Rouge area. Now, I recently, right here off of Stumberg, I just sold a house to a little first time home buyer. It's so cute, just a little garden patio community and she is so happy. Everything went very smoothly, so she is not that far from her work, so she really loves it there. But you also, another area that's gonna be popular, it's gonna be the Shenandoah area. And Shenandoah area right here, you're gonna have older homes. Uh, they're gonna be not quite as old as some of the ones in South Baton Rouge. They're gonna have larger lot, usually the older style where you have the formal living room, formal dining room type thing. Some of them are not quite that old, but you may see that style in the area, but it's popular because of the schools in that area as well, the shops, the restaurants. So that, and it's closer, if you're commuting in to Denham Springs, Hammond, going to South, uh, Southeastern in Hammond, so that's popular. And also there's areas like White Oak Landing that you can actually buy a house on the water. But as soon as a house comes available, you gotta jump on it quick because it will be gone in a day. So you have to be quick to get those houses. And I did sell one out there and literally she was out of state and we did the deal with her being out of state. She saw the house when she got back and already had an accepted contract and she absolutely loves that house. So uh, that turned out really good right here in the Shenandoah area. You also have, if you wanna go live a little bit more rural and out a little bit more, just out of the hustle and bustle of Baton Rouge, the area of Tiger Bend right here, Old Jefferson, Antioch, Elliott, South Tiger Bend, all of those areas are very popular as well that I've had clients move to. Uh, just, uh, they just don't wanna be in Baton Rouge. Um, they want to be a little further out, so they really enjoy living out as well. And if you're working in the Prairieville area, 
that's a good location so it's not that far. We have the Women's Hospital close by. So a lot of people that work at Women's Hospital live in that area to shorten their commute. All right, we highlighted a lot of the Baton Rouge area. Uh, so now we are gonna head north into some of our parishes. Uh, we're gonna head, actually, uh, this is gonna be East Baton Rouge Parish, uh, Zachary, Louisiana. It's gonna be about a 30 to 45 minute drive according to which area in Baton Rouge you are commuting from, from the Zachary area. And if you can see right here, this is, Baton Rouge right here, and we're just gonna head straight up north up here, and this is gonna be your Zachary area. And this community is wildly popular because of the public school system there, from what my clients say, and it has a, some beautiful golf course communities. It's gonna have like shops and restaurants, and there are some newer communities as well. They're gonna be kind of like a mixed use where you can walk to the restaurants um, out in the Zachary area. And if you want acreage, you can definitely find that in the area as well. The median price uh, for homes for selling in that area is going to be about $315,900 in the Zachary area. Now we're going to go over to St. Francisville and that's going to be, uh, you could just go straight up here to the St. Francisville area and can I tell y'all how cute this town is? It is so adorable. We all want to move there, but we don't. But it's so cute. It's like it came out of a Hallmark movie. You have these gorgeous big oak trees lined in the streets and a lot of the neighborhoods. You have prestigious like antebellum homes there. You have the Myrtles, which is famous for. It's supposed to be like a scary antebellum home. Everybody books a night there, does dinner, does brunch. So see if they see the ghost of the Myrtles. So you have to read up on that. So it has like some shops and restaurants. It does not have big box stores. It is definitely your small town feel to that area. And you're looking at about 30 minutes to 45, getting into the Baton Rouge area from St. Francisville right through here and you would just go up 61. I'm sorry, I'm not drawing very well. All the way up 61 right here into Baton Rouge, 30 to 45 minutes that direction. We are gonna head east now to Livingston Parish and we're gonna go out to the Denham Springs area. I'm gonna show you guys right here. So remember that 10, 12 split, we're gonna take that 12 all the way down. We're gonna pass that East Baton Rouge area that we went to. And we're going to head into Denham Springs area, go all the way up to Watson area, right up here, come around to down the Walker area. So this is a very popular area primarily because of the schools out here and also the price point. This is probably one of the uh, lowest price points in Baton Rouge and all the other surrounding parishes is in the Denham Springs, Watson, uh, Walker area out there. Um, I just sold a house out there. It was one of the uh, DSLD homes out there and I think they got into it for like $265,000. They didn't have to pay any down payment, so they got some really great incentives out there to be able to get into a new construction house. But you can actually buy homes starting out at 210 in that area, 220 according to how updated you want it out in that way. So it's very affordable. It's also popular because they have something called rural development money where you can get into the home if you qualify for 100% financing. So that is very popular in that area as well. The schools, the price point, and the incentives to get into the home. So if we're in the Denham Springs area right here, they're gonna have something called the Juven Crossing, and it is a really newer shopping center, and it's gonna have a lot of restaurants in it, shops. It's going to have a movie theater. So you literally have everything in one little shopping center right there. You're gonna have the big grocery stores, and if you want a little higher end living in the Denham Springs area, they have a golf club community. It's called Greystones. It's gonna have a really nice pool golf, tennis, they have a little grill you can ride your golf cart to or walk around the neighborhood, so that one's really nice. And they have many other communities out there as well. If you look right here, they have equestrian estates and those are larger lots, like like uh, at least I think like an acre out there for each lot, uh, horse stalls, that type of thing if you're into horses and want more of the life out that way. Uh, it is a little further out. The Denham Springs area is about 
30 minutes from Baton Rouge. Uh, the Watson is gonna be about 45 minutes into the Baton Rouge area. In Walker, sometimes I can make it 35 minutes, or 30, 35 minutes, so if you're just right off the interstate in the Walker area, right here, so you can make it into Baton Rouge. Now, the con is if you're working in Baton Rouge and you're traveling, so is everybody else. So the con is at rush hour in the mornings at five o'clock in the afternoon, you're gonna be sitting in traffic. Uh, my grandchildren live out in the Denham Springs area right here. And if I'm gonna go out there, I have to leave my house in Baton Rouge no later than three o'clock. Because if I leave at four o'clock, I'm gonna be sitting in traffic for an hour where it's normally like 30 minutes uh, to get there. So that is definitely a con, but they have so many great incentives and people wanna buy a house and get into a house and not pay the Baton Rouge prices. So if you're wanting to get into, if you want an acreage or schools or any of that sort of interest, then that might be the area for you then. So now we're gonna go out to Ascension Parish and I saved the number one suburb in Prairieville for last to show you guys and I wanna tell you why it's so oddly popular in the Prairieville area and that's gonna be, you're gonna pass South Baton Rouge and it's literally like 15 minutes from Baton Rouge. So that is one reason why it is so popular because it's so close to Baton Rouge if you're commuting to and from Baton Rouge every day. So this was that 10, 12 split right here. We're gonna go interstate down past South Baton Rouge. And this is gonna be your Prairieville Gonzales area through here. So as you can see, uh, this was more of the South Baton Rouge area through here. So it's not that far, just like 15 minutes. So it does have some really good school systems. If you look on niche.com, that is probably one of the number one pe reason people want to live in that area, proximity and the schools. Uh, also, if you would like to live close to the water, they're gonna have the Manchac Bayou, the Amit River. So if you want a house on the water, you can definitely have that in those areas as well. You can get acreage. You're kind of close to everything as well. The average price is gonna be a little higher actually than most other places. It's gonna be at 300, the median sales price, $327,000 in the Prairieville area. Now, if we go a little south of Prairieville, down into the Gonzales area, the uh, medium price is gonna be a little bit less. It's gonna be uh, around the 280 mark in the uh, Gonzales area over there. So Gonzales is about 10 minutes from Prairieville. It's not that far, 10, 15. So it has the Cabela's uh, uh, out there. You have the Tanger Outlet Mall out there. It's a huge outlet mall you can go to and go shopping. It has the restaurants and it's only about 30, 40 minutes from the New Orleans airport as well. So it's very conveniently located. Um, you can get acreage and land out there as well. And they're really known for the big annual Jambalaya Festival out there. It's a lot of fun. And I highly recommend if you're in the area and you want to move out that area, definitely check out the Jambalaya Festival. As much as I love making these videos for you guys, I am a full-time realtor here in the Baton Rouge area. And if you're thinking about making a move in the Baton Rouge area, you can call, text me, DM me, schedule an appointment on my calendar link above. I would love to talk to you.